Right, happy Tuesday, third graders. Today we're gonna continue with telling time. We're gonna today we're gonna be working on matching the analog clock to the digital clock. So first, let's just review a little bit. So remember these, the one to twelve. These numbers are hours, and remember our short, our shorthand tells us what hour it is. So that it could be pointed in between the ten and eleven. It could be pointed at the 9, and that's going to help sell the hour, the short one. And then the long one represents the minute. So you could think of it as hour. It's only four letters. So the short line, short hand goes with hours, and it's spelled shorter. In minute, it's M-I-N-U-T-E. That's six letters. It has the long hand. So over here, these describe our minutes because there are 60 minutes in one hour and it goes all the way around the clock. So from our 12 to our 1, that's 5 minutes. And remember, we can skip count by 5. This would be 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60. But when it's on the 12, that is when we have our O clock. So we're not going to say 1, 0, 0. Remember, we say 1 O clock. All right, so let's keep going. So again, it would be too confusing to have all the minutes labeled on the clock because that would be a lot of minutes and numbers written down and it would look really crowded. So we have five minute marks. That's what our one is. So let's get real comfortable with counting with fives. Let's real quick take our hands out and let's practice counting by fives. Again, five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, but remember our minutes go past 50, so we'd go 55, 60. All right, and remember we count by fives only because each section is worth five minutes. There are five little lines from the 12 to the 1. There's five little lines from the 1 to the 2. So it's easier for us to skip count by our fives to figure out what minute is on the clock. So now let's tell time. The first thing we do is figure out the hour. And remember, the hour is the shortest little hand, the small hand. And so I find it right here. And I'm just going to draw a line out all the way here so that I can see what numbers it lies between. So it's in between the two and the three. And remember, we're always going to go back. So I would put down the two, so it's two something. But we also need to look at the long hand, so now we need to look for the minute. So I see it's in between the seven and the eight, and I know if I skip count by fives all the way to seven, that's 35. And once I get close, I can count the individual marks. So 35, 36, 37, 38. So I would say two, 38. But this is also where we hit a danger zone. So this would be with our hours. So for the times between the 41, so right here, and the 59, our hour hand is almost touching the next hour. So when it says right here, this is 757, this hour hand is so close to the 8 that if we're not careful when we're looking, we would say it's 8.57. But remember, our hour hand keeps going as the minutes go. It's just slower. That's why we always look back. Because if I draw my line, it's not at the 8 yet, and it's not past the 8. So I would bring it to the 7. So you have to be really careful when you're looking to make sure, you know, draw out your pencil or if you're on the computer, take your pencil and just put it on the screen and see where is it going, what is it in between, what two numbers is it in between. And then we're always going to go to the back number. 
Now let's practice with a little bit of our homework. So our homework today is just going to be matching the analog clock and the digital clock. So one has the hands and one just has the numbers. So if I look here, this says 419, 404, and 319. And so a new feature on all the um, IXL standards is you can have them read it to you. So if you just click right here, look at the analog clock. It'll read it out loud for you. Even the answers as well. Which digital clock shows the same time? Well, the question, sorry. So now I'm going to be looking at my analog clock. And remember, the first thing I'm going to do is find the hour. And if you have paper with you, you can use it and then you can write down your answers. If it helps, I'm going to write down my hours. So I see my small line hand right here, but I can't really tell, so I can hold up my pencil and see. I see it falls in between the four and the five, but I always go back, so I could write down here my four. And so now I'm looking at the long the long hand, because that is my minutes. So I know it's in between the three and the four. So I'm gonna count by fives to my three. Five, 10, 15. And now I see it's at this one, so I'm gonna count up. 16, 17, 18, 19. So then I have my 19. So 419, do I have any that match? Yeah, so let's click on it, and I'm gonna press Submit, and fantastic. So now let's do one more together. So now I'm looking at this clock, remember I'm looking at the short one first, because the short one is my hours. So if I can't see, I'm gonna take my pencil and see which one it falls in between. It falls in between the 10 and the nine. But I'm always going back, so I'm going with the nine so my hour so i'm trying to draw a little backwards so that you'll be able to read it so if my handwriting looks bad i'm sorry so then i'm gonna look at my long hand for my minutes so i see it's right by the six so it's not at the seven it's at this in between the six and the seven so i'm going to count by fives to my number six 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34. So do we see a 934? Yes, yeah, so I'm just going to click on it and submit. And if that helps, take your notes from yesterday. When we wrote out our clock and we skip counted by 5, use that and see if that helps you. So remember, we took out our clock from yesterday. We wrote shorthand equals hour, longhand equals minutes. And if you write out the 5, 10, oh, sorry, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, as you're doing your homework, you can look back at this, and it'll help to know where you're at. All right, and that is it for today. Thank you, and have a good rest of your day.